This is a reading from The Spirit of Findhorn by Eileen Caddy. Words to live by from the co-founder of the extraordinary Findhorn community. Copyright 1976. Page 89. Raise your consciousness. Only as you expand your consciousness are you open and receptive to the new all around you and can become attuned to new thoughts, new ideas, new ways of life. Be prepared to see beyond the immediate into higher dimensions, higher realms, and open to the ways of the spirit. There is so much you can understand and accept intuitively, but at which the mind boggles. So why waste time trying to work everything out with the mind? Why not be willing to live and act intuitively and inspirationally? When you do this, you are functioning from a raised state of consciousness. You are receptive to the new. You become a clear channel for the new to unfold in and through you. Raise your consciousness from the negative to the positive, from the destructive to the constructive, from the darkness into the light, from the old into the new, and see what happens. You will find the old will fall away, revealing the glorious new. You will find yourselves seeing the world around you with new eyes. You will behold the wonders and beauties as the scales of the old which have held you in bondage will fall from your eyes. And you will see with eyes that really see. You will look with wonder and thanksgiving at all you see and realize that this is indeed the new heaven and new earth about which you have heard so much that it is right there before you and you are part of it, that you live and move and have your being in it and are helping to bring it down and bring it about. You will see that you as an individual have an important part to play in bringing the new to birth, that what you do, how you behave, how you live, how you think, all fits into either a constructive or destructive pattern. When each individual realizes this fully and sees that he has a responsibility to the whole, this transformation from the old to the new will come about more quickly. Never try to shelve your responsibilities or leave them to someone else, but accept them joyously and see your part in the whole scheme of things and be willing to play your part without any thought of the self. Let all you do, say, and think be for the good of the whole to lift and build up the very best in every situation. Be willing to learn and learn quickly how to do this, so that you are a blessing to your fellow man and to the whole situation. Give eternal joy and freedom as you do so. Walk in the light and radiate it wherever you go, creating more and more light. Look for the very best and draw it to you. These are constructive things you can do and can do now. So waste no more time thinking about them, but put them into action.